Welcome to season 10 of the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. And to be kicking off the 2014 season, we are going to be traveling to currently number two ranked Cal defending national champions. If you go back two videos in this series, you can watch their championship game in the recap video. And my goodness, it was the best championship game we have had in this entire series uh, they won it on a hail mary walk-off touchdown when it was tied 13 apiece and uh, they got their second national title in three years and they're going for another one this year but they are without their superstar quarterback jake stevens as he went to the nfl draft so here we are kicking off year 10. Green on the return and he lost the football. Montana State recovers it. It's Jimmy Kent. Travis Kraft came in there and forced the fumble. We've got some superb field position, but now we lose the football and give it right back to the Golden Bears. Wow, what an early swing of events and we're only one play from scrimmage in. Two plays if you count the kickoff. Holy cow, two plays and two fumbles. No fumble on play number three, though, as the running back picks up a first down. Anthony Greer, the freshman quarterback, replacing Jake Stevens. He's pretty solid for a freshman, about 82 overall. And he's got some pretty nice wheels we've got to look out for. That throw is going to get them out to midfield. Now on a play fake, he's going to fire to the end zone. Oh, that's a throw Stevens definitely would have made. Uh, thank goodness we're playing the, uh, the freshman instead. Greer now fires over the middle. He's got Manning, but now he loses the football, and we have another fumble in the first quarter. This time, Max Lloyd forces it over the middle, and Cameron Whitaker recovers it. Here is quarterback Kevin Fuller under center, handing it off to Tyron Manigan, who holds on to the football and picks up five yards. Now Fuller to throw for the first time in his career, and he was nearly picked off, intended for Paul Washington. He wants to throw for it on third down. Instead, he's going to be picked off over the middle. It's the linebacker done jumping up and getting it. The impact player making an impact pretty early on in this game. And less than two minutes into the game, and each team has turned the ball over twice. There's a sack. It's Mario Harris getting into the backfield. That's all going to be a loss of four. Now on the play fake, Anthony Greer is going to throw on the move, and he's not the most accurate quarterback right now. Third and long. Greer dropping back to throw. He's pressured and loses the football. It's on the ground again. Cal recovers, but they're going to be forced to punt. It was a pretty solid punt, though, pinning us back on our own 13-yard line. Fuller throws off his back foot downfield into double man coverage intended for Washington. Use a direct snap to Robinson. Vince Robinson to the right. Picks up about six yards. Now on third down. Fuller's all by himself in the backfield. And he couldn't get the snap off. The crowd here is pretty loud. And that's causing some delays on the offense. It's third and seven instead. This throw is going to be broken up. Looking for Aaron Martin. And Kevin Fuller still yet to complete his first pass as a Bobcat. Here's another play fake. They've been going with a lot of play action early on, and there are those wheels I was talking about earlier as Greer is able to pick up a first down. Now Greer off the play fake. He's going to connect with Cox on the right side, and that's going to be another first down, their fourth of the game so far, while we still have yet to get one. More play action, and that throw is going to be way over the head of his intended receiver. And now our freshman defensive tackle, Brad Wheeler, is going to have to exit the game. It's nothing too serious, and he will return shortly. Meanwhile, on third down, it's going to be a drop by the freshman receiver, Harry Manning. That's going to result in fourth down and six, and another Cal punt. And there, Montana State finally has a first down, and it comes on the legs of Tyrone Manigat. Kevin Fuller looking to throw, rolling to his right. He's got some pretty solid wheels on him. It's about 82 speed if I remember correctly. And he's going to pick up four yards. Fuller once again looking to throw. And there he has his first completion as a Bobcat. It's to Paul Washington for another first down. That's going to take us to the second quarter after it felt like what was the longest first quarter ever. And now he's going to be sacked by John Wayne. Not that John Wayne. This guy's just a random generated football player. But, you know, pretty good name right there. 
Now on second and long, tipped and intercepted by Dunn again, trying to throw a strike over the middle to Ben Collins. It was slightly underthrown though, tipped up into the air by several players and then eventually Dunn who tipped the pass in the first place comes down with the pick. But there's a big sack by this defense. It's been a very heavy defensive battle so far. Jimmy Kent's getting a big sack there. That's going to force a third down and long situation. The impact receiver Williams has it over in the middle. Well shy of the sticks though. So out comes their kicker Patrick Jackson. This is going to be from over 50 yards. And it is no good just below the upright. And we're going to remain tied at zero. That's going to give MSU some pretty good field position. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. No, instead Fuller loses the football. Davidson picks it up and he's going to high step into the end zone. Of course, the first points of the game are going to come on defense just the way it's been going so far. That's going to be a 20-yard scoop and score as the pressure just came immediately onto Kevin Fuller, who was just trying to throw it away at that point, but didn't even have an opportunity to do that. But we're only down 7-0 right now. The defense has really kept us in the game so far today. This pass is going to be picked off again, this time by Dunbar, as he was looking for Larry Lane deep. And uh, I'm not too sure about this one. As we take a look at the replay here in a moment, you see it goes right through the hands of Larry Lane. In fact, it went through his helmet too. So I don't know what kind of bull crap this game is pulling. That interception I don't think is on me there. That's more so. That, sh that should have been a big catch by Larry Lane. But instead, it's another turnover. And uh, hopefully our defense can hold here on third down it's a play fake and Greer is sacked it's Max Lloyd getting him in the backfield there once again the defense comes up with a huge play Jackson's gonna come out for another field goal attempt and this time he nails it Cal's gonna take a 10 point lead less than two minutes to go in this first half and Montana State wants to get on the board Fuller's going to throw in the move there, and it's going to bounce right off of the back of Paul Washington. Kevin Fuller just one of eight so far today. He wants to throw again. He's going to fire over the middle, and this time Washington was ready for it, making a big catch over the middle. It's going to get us out to the 45. Now Fuller fires a strike over the middle again, and once again it's to Paul Washington, the second year receiver, making a big play. Already has twice as many receptions today as he did all of last season. Looking Washington's way again, and this time it bounces right off of his hands and into the hands of Simmons, the defensive back there, the strong safety. And that's another interception that I don't think you can blame on myself or Kevin Fuller. That could have been a big play by Washington, potentially even a touchdown. Instead, Cal has the football going their way again on yet another turnover, and they have a big play there on offense as our defense feels like they're starting to get kind of gassed. Rear fires to the left side, and he's got Edwards again brought down inside of the red zone. 25 seconds left to go. Can we hold them to just a field goal? Play fake here. Pass to the left side. It's going to be dropped by Manning, the true freshman, definitely having his struggles in his debut. Greer dropping back to throw. He's under a little bit of pressure, but still gets it out the way. And this time, Manning's going to haul it in for a touchdown. He does have, I think, 99 speed, or if it's not 99, it's pretty close to that. He's a real fast guy, and he can develop to be a top receiver in the nation. And he has a nice catch there, which puts them up by three scores at halftime. And Fuller is going down again. John Wayne with his third sack of the day. That's going to force a third down and 15 on Montana State. Kevin Fuller is going to fire this one deep for Curtis Brown, but it's going to be knocked away by the safety there. And uh, Cal has more completions, or rather, Fuller has thrown more passes, I should say, to Cal's defenders than he has his own receivers. Williams now on the punt return. He's going to lose the football, but John Wayne's going to recover it. Max Lloyd out here on the punt coverage team making a big play. And I mean, if we do end up losing this game, you cannot blame it on the defense because they have done a superb job keeping us in the game so far today. Williams does make that reception there, and that's going to pick up a gain of four. Now it's going to be another play fake despite them only running the ball like two times so far today. But he does get it out to Cox and that is going to pick up a first down. That's three consecutive completions now for the quarterback. 
Now here's a run by Michael Owens, and it's a good one. He runs over Whitaker and gets out to the 18-yard line. That's going to put them inside of the red zone. Now in the flat, Edwards is going to turn it upfield, and nobody is going to catch the wide receiver there, Carl Edwards, and that's going to make it 24 to nothing. Technically still a three-score game, but we've got to get three touchdowns, three two-point conversions without allowing any more points. And that's going to be tough if no one is blocking for our quarterback. It's already bad enough for him so far today, and he keeps getting sacked. Here's a high snap for him now back in his own end zone. He's got to get rid of this one. Fuller moving to his right and fires this one on a line there to Vince Robinson making a big reception. I mean, if he can't get anything going on the ground, might as well put him out at wide receiver because he can make some nice catches there. And uh, that's a pretty impressive play on offense. Fuller is going to take the snap. He's looking to throw. Instead, he's going to be sacked this time by Dunn. Second down and 21. Fuller once again wants to throw, and that pass is going to be broken up as he was looking for Larry Lane on the slant route. It's third and a mile now. This pass is going to be fired over the middle, and he's very lucky that that one wasn't picked off as well. Now, after a pretty good punt return, Cal has some really good field position, actually, as they're already in field goal range. That pass is going to be fired to the end zone, but incomplete. Now on third down and seven, Anthony Greer looking to throw, firing back across his body, and they're not going to be able to convert on third down, meaning Patrick Jackson's going to have to come out for another field goal attempt, but he's going to nail it, and that will officially make it a four-score game. Do we have a big-time comeback in us? Fuller moving away from the pressure just to run into another defender. He's been sacked, what, five or six times so far, plus four interceptions I'm starting to lose track but that was a beautiful throw to the left side it's Larry Lane finding the hole in the zone right there is I think that what was that cover two cover three something like that but he put it right in between the defenders a beautiful throw there by Fuller he's on the move now stopping and firing downfield and that was ugly as it sails out of bounds Washington didn't even have a chance Fuller is rolling to his right again he's gonna scramble and he's gonna pick up about eight yards there as our fullback Manny Phillips appears to have injured his hand on that play and he's going to have to check out of the game. Montana State's going to go five wide on this next play. Fuller moving to his left. He's going to fire off his back foot downfield intended for Larry Lane, but he's going to be unable to bring it in. Now on fourth down, we've got the conversion. Finally, we get it out to Larry Lane. Actually, he already had at least one catch early on this drive, but we still got to use our number one receiver a little bit more if we can. Another third down that we are going to be unable to convert. So on fourth down and 10, offense stays on the field. Fuller flush to his right. He's going to stop and fire downfield right off of the hands of his receiver. And it's going to be picked off by Simmons for the second time today. Simmons looking for the pick six, but Aaron Martin's going to push him out of bounds. That is five interceptions and two lost fumbles by Montana State. The Golden Bears are going to get it all the way down to the goal line. And Michael Owens is going to get it in for six as Cal is going to extend their lead by even more now. What looked like a close game in the first half has really turned into a blowout in the second. Now our main goal is just not to get shut out. Can we get Kevin Fuller his first passing touchdown or at least get some kind of points? What a play by Paul Washington going up and getting it. He's the tallest receiver we have and he's also got the best jump on the team so we can give him a lot of those jump balls. But he also doesn't have the best awareness as it bounces off his back for the second time today. Fuller looking to throw. He's going to fire over the middle and be picked off again, this time by Ross. And that wasn't even the defender he was he was covering. I mean, you don't see plays like that inside of the Big Sky Conference. But when you're taking on one of the best teams in the nation, you see plays like that. That was a very impressive interception. I think only half of them were probably on me, which is still bad because half of them would still be three interceptions. But some of them were kind of cheesy, like the one that went through his hands, or just the, the continuous drops. They were at least three interceptions, I would say, that came off of drop passes. So yeah, not the best debut for Kevin Fuller, who only had 167 yards, completed 25% of his passes, no touchdowns, and six interceptions. 
He also lost 42 yards on the ground, although most of that did come off of all those sacks that Cal got. Paul Washington was probably one of the bright spots in today's game, over 100 yards, but he could have very well had two more catches that were drops instead. In fact, three more catches because one of the, those drops went for an interception. And then this defense, you really got to applaud them. Yeah, they give up 34 points. Well, one of the touchdowns did come on defense, but they, they're they the only reason we were in even in this game by halftime. They kept forcing turnovers and making some big plays. And we also got, you know, those forced fumbles and recovered fumbles. And that's going to be a wrap for week one. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, that'd be awesome if you left a like on the video. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.